Sometimes you just got to hold your peace and let Jesus fight your battle. Be still and know that God is God. Amen. And he's done it time and time again with enemies who even wanted to do me harm. Many testimonies, many examples. Amen. And this is the minister Kev, once again, of the body of Christ. Grace be unto you, peace and blessings from God the Father and from his son, Jesus Christ. And I just want to say a lot of times I'm rushed and pressed for time. Hopefully I can slow it down just a bit. We want to further elaborate on what we're talking about with the Will Smith, Jada Pickett situation. Mix it on and tie it on in with the Jezebel spirit in the world today. Now I just want to tell people there's a method to what I do. You know, Paul said I had become all things to all men that I might save some. So just keep on back and let's go ahead and get into it. Now I heard today. Uh, just to get into some real talk. What's his name? August Alessandra. Whatever his name is. I can't pronounce it. I ain't even never really heard of him. But this was the man that Jada Pickett Smith was committing adultery with. Now right there, Will, they said that you went ahead and supported what she was doing. Just to hold on to her. What kind of sissified move is that? In times, I would call these individuals simps. Now what do I mean? Well... In this case, he's simple when it comes to these strange women. He's a simp. He's simple. You know, I call him a beta male. That's just another name for these weak men. Prior to this, I talked about Kanye. Had no business with this Jezebel Kardashian or anybody uh, for that matter. You know their reputation. Now we're dealing with Jezebel uh, Jada Smith. And this song by August Alessandro trying to capitalize and get money. But like I said, when Will Smith, you had the chance, your wife has become polluted through adultery. Now, the Bible says, lest it be, you can't just put away a woman for any old thing. The Bible says, lest it be for fornication. I believe that's over there in Matthew 19 and 9, around there, around there, start around there. We won't go there. It's around Matthew 19 chapter somewhere. Now, it says, lest it be for fornication. So that was your way out if a woman commits fornication. Now, fornication in the broad context includes adultery. It could be bestiality or, or whatever. Fornication in the broad context. There was a situation in the Corinthian church where a man was having his father's wife. And he called it fornication, you see. So in the broad context, adultery is tied into fornication. For those who have a problem with that. Okay. But let me also pick up. And uh, now I went to Proverbs the 21st chapter. I want to read that because it's very important. Let's learn some. Proverbs 21 and 19. It is better to dwell in the wilderness than with the contentious and an angry woman. Did y'all see the look that Will, uh, that Jada, Jezebel Smith gave to Will Smith? At first the joke was funny. You see, he was laughing. But then she gave you that look. Man, is she manipulated, and that's what they'll do. Usually these women with a Jezebel spirit will manipulate you. Just by that mere look, you want to put on your cape and be Captain Save a Harlot. Just like I was explaining. Y'all seen it. Now, was it stays? Who knows? But it looked like you was a captain, and, 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 and you further, uh, you know, intensify the, the 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 rhetoric coming your way of individuals knowing and calling you the simp that we always know and knew you was you know and and, and the weirdo i mean the whole family is weird uh you had a a, a jaden smith you know wearing skirts and what have you all kind of color hair willow smith like i said ball head ball head you know that's against god right there ball head you know, now let me show you something real quick. Let, let, let's deal with the bald head. 
Now, now keep in mind, you might have been trying to show some support for your mother's alopecia. Now, it's been brought out that she has alopecia. It's not a laughing matter, but at first she was laughing, so it made you look like a sucker. But before this, I believe Jada and Willow were shaving their head. Now, the bald head for a woman, uh, let's pick up 1 Corinthians 11, chapter, verse 6. For if the woman be not covered, let her also be shorn. But if it be a shame for a woman to be shorn or shaven, let her be covered. So to have a bald head, you got to understand over there in the Corinthian church, a lot of the prostitutes had a bald head. A lot of the prostitutes today have a bald head. And what they do, dun -dun 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 -dun, put on the wig. You know, now Jada could have put a wig plus a covering on her head, you know. Now, the covering... If he was to look it up, it is a veil. Now, in the context of the house of God, you say, oh, that's old-fashioned. Women should cover their head. Why? Because it's in the book. Read the book, especially or when they're praying or prophesying. Now, she wasn't in the church, but she could have put something on her head. Willow turned around. Willow got a, 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 a ring in her nose, a ring of gold in a swine snout. Is a woman who lacks discretion. She got a ring in her nose, like a bone in her nose. Willow Smith, the whole family is tore up. Chris Rock, I feel he dealt with it, with professionalism. But my goodness, I never want to be put in that situation. I can't say I wouldn't have. You know, a man can't really say what he would have did, you know, if another man slapped you. Of course, the Bible says turn the other cheek. You know, if Chris Rock said, would have really turned the other cheek and said, now nah, hit this side. That would have made Will look real foolish. But realistically, we have a right to defend ourselves. Jesus spoke in parables. You have to really read between the lines at times. Yes, I believe in turning the other cheek, but you got to do it in wisdom. You got to be wise. I don't think, I know. You could have made a citizen's arrest and put him in a chokehold or something like that. You know, but Back to the subject at hand. These are uh, entertainers. Amen. And like the Bible says, when these angry women, and why are they angry at first? The man is the head of the woman. And the head of man is Christ. Even Christ got a head, and that's God the Father. See, God the Father is a spirit. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, got a head. And understand that these Jezebel-type women like Jada don't respect her own head. Look at her a reputation sleeping with her son's friends August Alicenia whatever his name is look at a reputation bragging on Tupac a thug this couple that family is jacked up and this is why I speak out against Hollywood this is why I'm so uh, uh, strict and, and talk about these 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 weirdos there, there, there are no type of examples the Bible says it's better to dwell in the wilderness with the it's better to dwell in the wilderness. Now, the wilderness, that's outside. Go outside. You'd rather be on the streets than with the contentious and the angry woman. Look at 21.9, same language. It is, the, it is better to dwell in the corner of the housetop than with a brawling woman in a wide house. These brawling women, what does that mean? They're, they're contentious. They're quarrelsome. They're difficult. Well, get up out of there. The Bible speaks, amen. Even if you was to turn it in Proverbs, which we're in, Proverbs 19, 13, it says, A foolish son is the calamity of his father, and the contentions of a wife are a continual dropping. Get up out of there. Amen. And you had your chance. But Will Smith looking like a bona fide sucker. You know, I have related him to King Ahab for those who might know or not know who King Ahab was. He was a king of Israel. But there was no uh, uh, wicked kings like King Ahab. Those who were before him, they, my goodness, he was, he was more wicked than those before him. Even his daddy, Omari, I believe his name was, he was very wicked. And they were into the worship of Baal, B-A-A-L, or, or, or Baal, or Baal. They were into that worship. It's the worship of, of, of basically, if you do some research, of power, uh, prosperity, of uh, fertility. 
you know, a weather. It, there's all kind of things tied to ball or bell. You know, the false god, lowercase g. But let's pick up for the sake of time. First Kings, the 21st chapter and at 25. But there was none like unto Ahab, which did sell himself to work wickedness in the sight of the Lord, whom Jezebel, his wife, stirred up. She probably only had to give him a look, just like Jada Jezebel Smith gave to Will Smith. It was nobody that could stir Will Smith up like Jada. Look how he be acting towards her and what he allows for all that adultery and giving her your support to sleep with the man August. That's crazy. Now look at uh, the decisions of Ahab. Why would you even take her? She was a pagan up there in the region of present day uh, Lebanon, I believe. Uh, let's look. I'm still in 1 Kings, the 16th chapter. And at 31, and it came to pass as if it had been a light thing for him to walk in the sins of Jeroboam, the son of Nebat, that he took to wife Jezebel, the daughter of Ethbal, king of the Zidonians. So Jezebel's daddy was Ethbal, and he was king of the Zidonians. Now look at his name closely, Ethbal. He was a worshiper of Baal. She was a worshiper of Baal and, and probably Ashtaroth and basically the queen of heaven, you see, and enticed him to do the same thing. You supposed to be leading her. She ain't supposed to be leading you. The king of the Zidonians and went and served Baal and worshipped him. And he reared up an altar for Baal in the house of Baal, which he built in Samaria. And Ahab made a grove. And Ahab did more to provoke the Lord God of Israel to anger than all the kings of Israel that were before him. He was worse than his daddy. So he picked Jezebel. And Jezebel was ruthless. As you know, it's like Jezebel was wearing the pants. She had the prophets of the Lord killed. Jezebel put in work with, who was it, Na Na Naboth? He had a vineyard. Ahab was sad because he couldn't get it. And she brought false witness by way of some people that came on the scene to accuse Naboth, or whatever his name is, it starts with an N, that he uh, cursed God and the king. And had that man killed by way of false witness. Jezebel had power. I believe the prophet Elijah at one time he had to get somewhere. He had to run. He had to go behind of uh, this wicked Jezebel. And as you know, Jezebel, today, you see it all in Hollywood. Why are you lifting up these Beyonce's, these Kim Kardashians? Why don't you check them? Why don't you be ahead? Because these so-called pastors, man, they're watered down. They're not going to tell you the truth. This Jezebel spirit in the world today, they got men soft in the church. So they're allowing sodomites to lead the choir. They're allowing sodomite activity. And they're uh, lifting up politicians like Obama, especially in the black church who didn't say anything. When Obama, just the other day with Joe Biden, Obama act like he's the real president, just told you that it was me and Joe. It was him and Joe who were responsible for get, getting rid of don't ask, don't tell. No, don't ask, don't tell was a good thing. In the military, you don't tell your business, and, and you better not ask. If you're doing nasty stuff uh, behind closed doors, if you are a sissy, you know? Now, they coming to the military in high heels and wigs and, and transgenders taking over like they're taking over sports, you know? They just told you that. These wicked... Democrats, but you got these watered down pastors who care more about blackness than to tell the truth, the truth that's found in the word of God. All of that stuff is an abomination. Will Smith, watered down Will Smith, allowing for Tyler Perry to counsel you. Tyler Perry, like I said, is a cross dresser. God is against that. Deuteronomy 22 and 5. A woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man, neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Whoever does so is an abomination unto the Lord our God. Now, I was paraphrasing Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Go ahead and look it up because that has to do with the Jezebel spirit that have crept in to this world today, especially into the weak, watered down, denominational church. You see it? Man moving their wrist funny. Uh, uh, tweaking and twerking and, and moving like women to men leading the choir and what have you. Sissy pastors. I don't think so. 
Now look here at the end result. The soldier Jehu is the one who had Jezebel took out. You know, that wicked spirit. Now remember at the time, I, I'm in 2 Kings now, around 2 Kings, the ninth chapter. And I'm going to paraphrase because you know when Jezebel was about to be took out, what she do? She painted her face. So she put her makeup on. And look at these harlots today, painting their face. You know, even look at Jada and the weaves. And you wonder why, you, you know, you, it makes you wonder why, why are you really bald head? Is it alopecia? Because now here's the thing. When you commit fornication, you sin against your own body. Maybe it have to do with that adul all that adultery you was committing. An open relationship? I don't think so. That's adultery. You know? I mean, what is it? Because uh, the Bible speaks over there. The prophet talked about the Israelite women. They're haughty. You know? Uh, 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 they, they, they had all these hairstyles and what have you. And it said that they will receive baldness. That's in the book. Now, I'm back to Jezebel, because Jezebel, before she got took out, what she do? She painted her face. All this excessive makeup. But in the New Testament church, the women are about modesty. Thank God for the women of God, for the virtuous women, because they're about modesty. They ain't trying to paint their face. And uh, she, she uh, you know, she, she looked out the window. And, 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 and as you know, the Enoch's, under Jehu's command, threw her down. Let me pick up. 2 Kings, the ninth chapter, and at 33. And he said, throw her down. So we got to throw Jezebel down today. We got to throw the Jezebel spirit down today. Stop being weak. Water down, you sucker. Man, wearing all these exotic colors and moving funny, man, and bringing any and everything into the church. I don't think so. There's rules and regulations, amen. The women should be covered, amen. They should be a modest. But you let them come in showing their cleavers with tight jeans. I don't think so. Without gold or pearls or costly array. That's what Paul taught. Amen. Over there in the book of Timothy. But let's look here. I'm still in 2 Kings, the ninth chapter, and that 33. And he said, throw her down. And they threw her down, Jezebel. And some of her blood was sprinkled on the wall and on the horses. And he trod her underfoot. And when he was come in, he did eat and drink and said, go. See, now this cursed woman and bury her. Say the picket is cursed. Kim Kardashian is cursed. For she is a king's daughter. And her daddy was cursed. He was worshiping Baal or Baal. And they went to bury her. But they found no more of her. Than the stall. And the feet. And the palms of her hands. So she had a horrible death. Jezebel. Jada Jezebel. Smith Kim. Jezebel. Kardashian. Kanye looking like Ahab. Come on back to the book. See, you got to read it, amen. Now let's pick up in Revelations around the second chapter in that uh, 20. Talking about this Jezebel spirit here a little bit. Notwithstanding, I have a few things against thee. I'm in Revelations 2 and 20. Because thou sufferest that woman Jezebel, which called herself a prophetess, to teach and to seduce my servants to commit fornication. Notice Jezebel, she had been dead. So we're dealing with the spirit and these women today. They call themselves a prophetess. So if you're a prophetess, what you doing teaching and usurping authority over men? It doesn't work like that. Man is the head. You got prophetess Juanita Bynum divorcing all kind of her husband. What you doing? I mean, where's that in the book? You know? But you, you're a prophet. Then what you doing up there teaching out the Bible? Say what thus saith the Lord. That's what a prophet or a prophetess does. To teach us to seduce my servants to commit fornication and to eat things sacrificed unto idols. And I gave her space to repent of her fornication and she repented not. So you got to repent of this Jezebel spirit that you're allowing in your church because you're afraid to check women. I believe it was around in the 1960s with the feminist movement. And now the women wearing all kind of pants. Prior to that, I believe they was covered up with a dress. Because a woman's body is not meant for these tight pants. You know, you make it hard on a man trying to live holy. But I thank God we can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens us. But it's in the book. Amen. So you got to repent. All you so-called pastors, you watered down individuals who don't teach the rules according in the book of 1 Corinthians. You know, it's a lot of rules for the New Testament church, church, 
you know, so everything can be done decently in order. And then you keep confusion down because God is not the author of confusion, but of peace as in all the churches of God. Be free, shall be mine.